Catherine, we've got a big weekend coming up, very important for yourself and your family and your mum, Karen. First of all, how is your mum doing? No, she's good. Um, she's staying positive. Um, we've had some unbelievable news. Last week, she had an email from America to to say that she'd been accepted to go over there to get, go on a drug trial treatment. Um, so us as a family are absolutely made up. We're just trying to sort, sort out when she can fly over there now. But um, the club have been unbelievable in organising this big weekend for, for me mum, really. Um, and as soon as the gaffer and the lads like pulled pulled me and said, "Listen, like this is getting sorted for you," um, I was shell shocked. I was amazed with the support I've, I have with all the staff and uh, Sharon, the owner, has been unbelievable as well, um, letting us get this weekend sorted. Goes out saying, "Must be very tough for your mum, for your family, and for yourself trying to balance a professional football career with looking after your family. How difficult has the last few months been?" Oh, it's been difficult, yeah. Um, Obviously, my mum got diagnosed when it was in pre-season, um, and the gaffer said, "Listen, like as much, like as long as you want to stay back home, go home and be supportive towards your mum, um, look after yourself." But I was literally home 24 hours, and my mum said, "Listen, um, I want you to go back to Bolton and keep doing well, and it'll make her happier." So that's what I've done. I've come in every day and try to stay positive. Football's been a bit of a distraction for me. Um, I take all my anger out on the pitch with what's going on at home and stuff. Um, it's been devastating, but I just try and stick, stay as positive as I can for my mum, really, and try and keep her, try and keep her happy. As far as this weekend is concerned, very important, as you say, it's an expensive business having treatment. You're equally helping the MND project on a wider circle, but equally making it a sort of special day for your family, supporters, and all ex-players coming back. It's quite an occasion, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Listen, when when the gaffer and the La- Doyle and Sars, when he was obviously here, um, was so supportive and said, "Listen, like we want to get this sorted for you," um, and I was shell shocked because I was thinking the big legends like Kevin Davis and. Obviously, this dimension Sam Aldo's been the legend, and we was like, "How are we going to get this sorted?" But Kevin Davis got in contact straight away with me over Twitter, said, "Listen, like we'll get, I'll get this sorted." Um, John McGinley's been great support because um, obviously he's here and helps out quite a bit. And I spoke to him, and he said, "Like we'll we'll get this sorted, no problem." Um, so all the support I've had from all the 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 legends like Kevin Davis, obviously Sam, we got Celios who come in. It's been amazing, really, but. Um, from all the support from all the staff to keep me positive and to get this weekend sorted it's been a been a good thing for me and the supporters have really rallied around as well superb ticket sales still chances to come so i'm sure you'd say a big thank you to them as well yeah 100 percent. listen like we were overwhelmed as a family the support i was given on the social media the past few months and i just want to thank them for everything really and it'll be a good day out for the fans as well to obviously see these legends back again and um Mainly, we just want to. I want to show the support my mum's actually getting. Um, obviously, she gets the support from family and friends back home. Um, but for her to come up here and see thousands of fans supporting, come to the charity game, mainly for her, but to see the legends play, it'll be a fantastic occasion. Yeah. And there's a, a Bolton link as well with Stephen Darby, who I know has been very helpful to you as a family, who's obviously unfortunately suffering with the same condition. And I know uh, he's been, played a big part in everything, and you're going to help uh, out his, his, his foundation in return. Yeah, 100, listen, Stephen Darby's been unbelievable support. Um, as soon as my mum got diagnosed, my agent got in contact with Stephen Darby, and straight away he, he rang me straight away and said, Listen, any support you need, this is just try and stay positive. And he's become a good family friend to my mum now. So. He's um he's been unbelievable keeping me one positive even though he's going through the same disease and stuff but um he got us in contact with the people in Boston America um so we could go ahead with that and we just thought with everything that we're doing um and just giving Paige and all the fundraisers we're doing back home and obviously doing here twenty five percent of everything that we we raised we we're going to put towards Stephen Darby's foundation. It is a football match. Unfortunately, you can't play. Uh, the little wispy are going to try and do a job swap with a gaffer. Is that true? I haven't had the proper chat with him yet, but um, he has mentioned that he wants to get his boots on, so I might ask him if I can, we can just swap roles for the day. Um, I'm not sure if he'll go as full-back. He'll probably go as a striker. Um, no, but I, I'll be on the side. I'll be on the touchline on the day, yeah. I wish you well and hope it's a special weekend for you all. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you.